Yeah, so um, my name's Mel. I'm doing an F3 year at the moment. I'm doing a clinical education fellow job. And uh, the interviews that I had recently were uh, ACF or Academic Clinical Fellowship interviews. Um, so that's the interviews I was preparing for and that I've just recently had. Yeah, so um, the interview preparation itself, um, as I'm sure many people uh, have heard before, uh, you almost have to prepare before you even heard, you've even heard back, you've been invited to interview, uh, just because with the time frames, they're so short, you know, you might find out that you've got an interview a week later, which isn't really enough time to prepare. So you have to anticipate that you're going to receive one. Um, and I think it's normally, it very much depends on the style of the interview, and that will be depend on the specialty and the stage that um, a candidate's at, but it will be uh, knowing the format of the interview. So um, for some, is it a clinical scenario? Uh, for myself, I had uh, a research uh, paper scenario as well as personal questions um, and I guess using examples of practice that I've uh, done previously so knowing what's going to be in the interview so you can prepare for those I spoke to people that had held the role in previous years as well as current supervisors uh, for that job role and seeing is it a good fit for me um, what do they what are they after in the interview what do they want to know about um, I attended an interview course, um, which was very helpful. Again, it was online. Um, and because my interview was online, that was a really good opportunity to practice actually looking at the screen, having the setup for the camera, um, having, you know, an unfamiliar person interviewing me, not just one of my friends or uh, one of my colleagues. So that was all really useful. Um, and I think from that, as well as the mock interview I did on the interview course, um, I did a couple of other mock interviews with um, one of my uh, supervisors and uh, with one of my peers who'd done interviewing before. And I think that's always very helpful, puts you on the spot a little bit, makes you uh, sweat a little bit, which you'd rather do then than uh, in the interview itself. Um, so I think those are all really important things for the interview. And I suppose interviews improve with practice and you know even if you don't get an in you get an interview for one job and you don't get you don't get the job in the end having that interview practice and then the feedback will improve uh your performance next time so I guess I reflected on previous interviews that I had and what went well what the feedback was to make sure that I um worked on that um so what to expect in the interview itself um, would depend on the specialty you're interviewing for. And for myself, it was an academic post. And therefore, my interview had the focus of both research, looking at a research paper, considering the strengths and weaknesses of that study, and actually whether um, the data was meaningful clinically in the future. And having that um I guess, knowledge and expertise of previous research papers that I could then apply to the to the research that they'd given me. Uh, and then the second half of the interview was more uh, personal questions, very the kind of questions that you would expect. Um, so I guess this is where it comes into practice of making sure you've preempted all of those questions that typically come up um, that, you know, you get in the interview course books you get in uh online on uh various pages that are very useful just to have in your head an answer that you can mold and adapt slightly depending on what the question is just so that you can sell yourself and uh you can get in that example of when you've been a leader when you've been a teacher when you've uh done research when things have gone right or wrong and um i guess importantly with all of those it's what you've learned from those experiences um, and then how can those experiences be applied to the role that you're applying for. Um, and I think the more confident you are in practicing those, whether it's in front of the mirror, whether it's recording yourself on your phone, um, the more naturally it will then uh, reel off when you actually have the interview.
So I think um, short term preparation for the interview, um, it's very similar to how you may prepare in the short term for an exam um, or I guess any job interview or important big day, things like having that good night's sleep, um, making sure that you are somewhere comfortable on the day of the interview. Uh, Most interviews are actually online now and ensuring you've got good Wi-Fi, ensuring that you've got good lighting, you've not got things in the background. Um, All of those kind of short-term tips are really useful. And I think keeping calm, being in the mind, being in the correct mindset um, are all really helpful things to do the night before and on the morning. Uh, It's easier said than done. I I will hold my hands up and say everyone's anxious, me included. Um, But yeah, I think having those in mind and finding what's going to work for you. Um, so even if it means you have like a trial run, you have everything set and ready to go, when you have that mock interview, you treat it like the real thing. Um, I suppose in the long term, what was the best preparation for me? Um, as I've kind of alluded to before, um, having a good knowledge and foundation of the kind of questions that they'll ask so that you're not blindsided by something unexpected. Um, being familiar inside out with what their training program is and uh, proving that you've done your homework, you've spoken to people in the job role already, you know the hospitals, you know the area, um, you know what might actually be the the pros and cons of that job. So they they know that you're going into that fully informed. Um, I think that's really, really important as well. Uh, So I've actually um, been successful with my application and uh, I will, I'm very lucky and fortunate to be saying that I will be starting my new job in August um, as an academic clinical fellow. So um, yeah, it's nice to kind of have that um, confirmation that the interview preparation was all worthwhile.